do black men journal. It's not really a diaries for females. Journal is for men. If y'all didn't know that out there, sorry about that. I mean, ass, Joe. <laughs> not necessarily. I mean, I guess to answer the question quickly, if you got other shit to do, I mean, the answer to the question is yes. I think black men journal. Uh, do I think more black men should not journal? Yeah. Uh, I'm talking to a buddy of mine now and trying to motivate him into it. He's like, man, I'm trying to get into it. I just can't. Got got the journal, got the pen. I, I'll try to do it sitting in the bed. The next thing I know, I'm asleep. I've been journaling about a year and a half. I took a good little break there. Um, like I said, I got all, all my habits and stuff when dad died, but I'm getting back into it now. Um, it's more than just to me anyway. Dear diary, today the girl in accounting smiled at me. <laughs> She's pretty attractive. Maybe one day I'll ask her out. No, I mean, for me anyway, if, if that's what you need to do to process how you feel about the girl in accounting or wherever she's at, yeah. um, that, that's fine. But usually what I do is I just do a brain. I do a couple of different things. So I've got my to-do list type journaling thing, like tasks and goals and things I want to get accomplished to form into habits like we talked about. So I have my habits and what steps do I need to do to do in system. So it's almost more tactical than a journal. So if you check out like bullet journal and stuff like that, that's one phase of it. I also keep in there like notes from books that I'm reading and I also keep ideas that pop in my head. So I have little notebooks all over the house and I keep one on me. And if something comes up in my head, I'll jot it down and with the other one I have, the newest one I started just in January is I do a, a daily journal. So it's like one or two sentences every day of what I'm thankful for. So, you know, like we said, in all the crazy shit in the world, you got to show some gratitude and think about the good that's happening too. Because there is something, you just got to look for it. The main one I have is I just take like 10 minutes and sit, listen to some music and just go and whatever you want to write about just comes out. So it could be what I ate that day, what I want to do. And it's amazing. Like the tangents you go on, you start realizing like solutions to problems. You realize new goals, you realize ideas, shit just starts to make sense. I mean, that's how I figured out the idea to start a podcast in the journal or fleshed it out rather. So it's not all, Oh, the girl, I think about her. So, um, no, nah, it's good tactical, you know, get shit done, better man shit, you know? Um, mm -hmm. it, it really helps you figure out things, processes, because some things you just don't necessarily want to talk to your wife about. Yeah. And sometimes, I mean, you talk to your boys, your family, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, sometimes some, it's stuff you don't want to talk to them about either. Right. It, it, sometimes it's shit that only, you know, you just got to hear it out and flesh it out. So, Kevin, if you, I know you don't journal, but if you were to journal, do you, what? What do you think you do? Right. No, I'll just play it. Um. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, no, but seriously, um, I don't know, man. I mean, the closest thing I've ever came to journaling was um, writing my music. It wasn't. Oh, I'm dripped out and I got this nine on me all all the time. Some they got a little bit of that stuff. Gotta gotta do something for fun. Mm -hmm. but a lot of that stuff was real emotions. You know, it was a lot of anger when I write when I wrote my Yeah, life. back then you were an angry ass yeah, little dude. I was, so I was I had a really fucked up temper, fucked yeah. up mindset, all that shit. And you know, I did through my music. But now mm -hmm. that I'm older, I don't really journal, I more meditate. In journal, yeah. I'm not, I'm not yeah. sitting cross legged because my knees is fucked up. So, <laughs> you know, I just you know what you mean. I just sit there. Now I don't go um and all the other shit. No. I just close my eyes and I, like I told, said in what's best for life, I reflect. Yeah, you know, just different shit is going on just to get my mind right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I've learned breathing exercise for it, and it, it really works for me. I mean, can't. can't yeah. I, mean, I, I wasn't gonna say. It. I ain't gonna say that, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and for me it's uh yeah so most of the time i fall asleep meditating but um it's about Sorry? it's about our mental health and us mm -hmm. i don't know brothers yeah. and you hear uh charlemagne say it all the time 
Yeah. Us, we don't really take care of our mental health like that because mm-hmm. it's looked at as uh, you weak, man. You being a bitch, man. Suck that shit up. Just like you call me Doug Funny for journaling, man. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> you face ass. <laughs> I got it for back. Those, I got it back. Got for it. those that are too young, I <laughs> we put a picture of Doug Funny just so y'all know. Doug yeah, if you can find a little clip, good old say, cartoon. Dear diary, that should be fucking hilarious. He would say, "Dear journal, man." He would say, "Dear diary." He ain't say shit man. about no dear journal. Bet, bet, bet. We'll see when I find it. Bet loser got a. I don't know for the next episode. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, right. man. Dear journal, remember me? Dear diary, remember me? Doug Funny. Dear diary, since I've written, but it's only been since the beginning. Figure of it out. Yeah, uh, and if you guys in the comments think of something yeah, y'all for, think the bet, so. for the wages, so let we, us know. Y'all hit a bit. Yeah, man. So you said you meditate? I, I do that yeah. too, man. It's pretty cool. Like I usually do about 10 minutes because anything more than that, and I'm probably gonna be asleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. So, definitely. Same thing. Even um, Kimmy, um, I was like, no, son, I ain't sleep. I'm meditating. See, <laughs> my, see mommy, he's meditating. <laughs> he ain't sleep. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Right, right. Drool and shit falling down. <laughs> what you think yeah. about I'ma pay these bills? Yep. Cause I gotta get out here and do it myself. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. So if whatever whatever tools you guys out there use, uh like bro said, journaling is definitely good. Black men, black men, sorry, melanin brothers, because I said I'm trying not to say black and African American anymore. Um mm-hmm. But y'all brothers out there, y'all y'all go ahead and get these feelings out. Because you ain't going to tell your mm-hmm. homeboys because you're going to get clowned. You ain't going to tell your mama because sometimes your mama's not not saying our mama personally because our mama don't give a damn. She'll say yeah. what she's going to say when she's going to say it. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. you know, some moms be like, ah, that's okay, baby. You just need to go ahead and just go ahead. You know, take your side. Yeah. They ain't really gonna, It'll be all right. Yeah, they ain't going to really enforce nothing. And your mm-hmm. wife, you know what I'm saying, she'll either... Not ours either, putting that out there. I know <laughs> when this come out, the wife is going to give me that damn look like, oh, really, motherfucker? <laughs> I ain't, it ain't trying to hear that shit. Um, but yeah, you know, some wives, they don't really, it's not, y'all, you being weak as hell. You weren't you worrying about how you depressed right now. You need to worry about cutting the damn grass. You know, some shit like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not no really positive reinforcement, but to actually do that shit yourself. Reflect yeah. on your own shit, either journal, meditate, whatever. And like you said, you'll figure out fucking solutions that way also. Yeah. Yeah. The coolest shit that I noticed is when I first started, I went back and read some of the early stuff. Mm. And you get to see kind of where you're, it's almost like a time capsule. Mm. You go back and look and yeah. you can kind of see what's going on in your life, where your headspace was at, you know, what was going on, how you feel. I ain't think and about compared that. to what is, man, it's, it's there, motivating. There's so much to it. Yeah. I know that shit's real motivating. Yeah. Like, man.